Hello friends, uh, this is Grey Wolf Optimization Part 2 in which we are going to discuss uh, different steps of Grey Wolf Optimization Algorithm. So there are basically three main steps that we have already discussed in our previous video. That is, we have searching, encircling and checking. If we categorize into uh, main points uh, or main parts, there are two specific parts, exploration and exploitation. In exploration, the wolf usually explore for the prey they search for the prey and when they find it out, they encircle it. After encircling, they do some kind of exploitation so that the prey should not move on and then uh, they are capable to attack on that prey. So basically two steps are there, exploration and exploitation. That is being divided into three specific parts, searching, encircling and attacking. Let me discuss them one by one, that how we are going to model them mathematically and how we are going to implement them in an algorithm. Exploration basically means, as you can see in this diagram, the wolf is exploring for <clears throat> any specific prey. Okay, uh, there is a value of uh, vector A that we will use in later on how we are going to calculate this. This is basically a kind of random value that you can say uh, that every time a wolf generate and if it is greater than one, that means the wolves are forced to diverge from the prey. See what happens, uh, They the uh, wolves usually diverge from each other for which purpose they are diverging for finding the prey and when they find the prey they converge okay so diversion and conversion is there so it's basically depend up to the value of uh, vector a if vector a is greater than one that means they should diverge from the prey and they should find a better one and if it is less than one that means now it is the time to attack on the prey okay so vector a is very important in that in this point of view next is encircling prey that is one of the most important part of uh, this algorithm. Encircling basically means uh, you are surrounding the prey uh, so that you can do some kind of harassment on uh, the prey and uh, finally you could attack on that one. So if you are encircling the prey in a proper way, in that case attacking or hunting will be very easier for you. And same, if we are talking about uh, the optimization algorithm, uh, we have a goal. And if we are encircling the goal, goal properly by all the search agents, in that case, it will be a better chance for us to hunt on uh, that specific prey. Right. So how we are calculating? We have to calculate the value of D. D is calculated by calculating the value of C, multiplying it with the position of prey. First, what is C? C is the coefficient and that coefficient is being generated by using this formula. So it's basically a random value that is being multiplied by two. So we generally generate a random number and then we will multiply it by two and then uh, we are getting the coefficient C. Same for getting the value of A coefficient, we are um, getting uh, a, another random number and then we are multiplying it with the uh, A, small a. Small a is a linearly decreased value that is uh, that will start from two and move to zero in different iterations because we will use a loop for different iterations, we will find out how to get the solutions of that one. And in each iteration, it will decrease from 2 to 0. Right. So it could have different values, but between 2 and 0. And uh, um, these R1 and R2 are the random vectors uh, that will value in between 0 and 1. So according to that, we will get the value of uh, uh, vector A and vector C. Sorry. So <clears throat> after getting the value of vector A and C, what we will do, we will put them in uh, this specific formula. And we will get the value of vector x. Vector x, uh, as you can see here, xp is the position of prey. Whatever the prey is at the current iteration, in which position the prey is, that will be multiplied with the value of coefficient c. And then it will be subtracted with the value of xt. t is the value or the position of uh, the wolf or the search agent. Okay. According to that, you will get the value of d. And then applying this uh, with the position of prey, and then it is subtracting with the value of coefficient of uh, coefficient vector a and then with d and you will get the specific uh, you can say uh, the fitness value of uh, any specific agent that how closer it is towards the goal right so we have to find it and encircling means we are getting the fitness value of any specific search agent according to that we will further generate what will uh, who will be who will become alpha who will become beta and who will become delta and so on so we must have get some uh, uh, some uh, fitness value according to the uh, given formula as you can see here 
uh, see this is uh, a wolf that is in the position of x y and this is the prey that is having the position x star y star so uh, if it is trying to reach to that specific position so that totally depends on uh, the value of vector a and vector c if the value of vector a is 1 0 and vector c is 1 1 then in that case uh, it could move to this position x star minus y comma y star so for moving from this position to this position what should be the value of vector a that should be a 1 0 and what should be the value of vector c that is 1 1 same in the third dimension space these could be different positional values that this specific vector can hold so this is basically uh, required for encircling the prey not for a single agent but for all agents we will calculate this kind of positions we will change the position of the wolf so that it could get nearer to the prey or it could be able to attack on that prey right next is after encircling after getting the position the next comes is attacking part the hunt is usually guided by alpha in abstract such space we do not have any idea uh, what is the location of optimum prey so what we do is we for, for getting the mathematical simulation of the hunting behavior of gray wolves we just suppose that alpha beta and delta three do have the best knowledge about the potential location of prey so what we do is uh, we will see in the algorithm part that we generally find out three best solutions as we have discussed earlier that we find the fitness value according to fitness value what we do we find three best solutions that will be alpha beta and delta and according to alpha beta and delta we will oblige other uh, uh, such agents or other wolves either omega or any other wolves that in, in the part uh, that they should increase or they should change their current position and they could have a chance to become alpha so that they that could attack in that one. okay so how we are doing that we are getting the value of d alpha by putting it into the formula that we have earlier discussed by multiplying c with x alpha and uh, that it's x alpha is the position of um, that specific prey and uh, then uh, sub subtracting it with the position of wolf and same is for d beta same is for d delta and al almost for all the preys sorry all the wolves that we have or all the search agents that we have we will calculate the position the fitness value of different x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 and xn and then according to that we will get who which one is the better that will be alpha another uh, better will be the beta and then will be delta and then what we will do of three best solutions we will get a centroid mean arithmetic mean of that one and this will get us the center value uh, according to this value all other agents will update their position okay as you can see in this diagram that this is alpha this is beta this is delta they have uh, chosen as uh, the best solutions uh, in uh, different uh, agents according to different agents and as per their positions this omega or it could be any other hunter that will change its position to some other positions and the same uh, all other agents all other such, such agents which are available in the pack they all will update its positions and then next time again we will find the fitness value of all the such agents and then again we will have to calculate the which are alpha beta and delta and so on this iteration will keep continue till we are not in the position of attacking the prey <clears throat> okay and finally once uh, the all positions is being um, find it out and then uh, if uh, as we have discussed in the first slide if we have uh, this value the vector a position less than one that means the wolf is going to attack okay so that is the attacking part uh, so guys uh, in this video we have what we have discussed is how uh, will we update the position uh, of different search agents in a search space how we will get which three are the best one and according to the three best one in the first iteration we will update the position of all the other agents which are available there and then again from all the agents including alpha beta and delta we will again find the fitness value of them and then again we have to calculate uh, uh, three we will have to find the three best among them and then according to three best we will update the positions of all other and we'll keep continuing this till the maximum iteration is found or we are not uh, in the position to attack over the prey so guys in the next video we are just going to discuss the algorithm part of uh, this one that is very important and that is uh, you can say is the final goal of uh, this specific video tutorial so guys please keep watching till then like and subscribe thank you